like to welcome everyone to Leading the Field in Real Estate. This is a 15-hour post-license education course that's been approved for both sales associates and brokers. With that said, let's go ahead and get started into the class. Uh, session one has to do with developing a business plan. And I've got to tell you, a business plan is extremely important. Uh, if you don't know where you go, you're like a ship without a rudder and you have no direction. A business plan is important. And that's also to say that goal setting then must be important. Um, if you don't have a set of goals, if you don't know the things that you want to achieve, it's going to be very difficult to achieve those goals. The goals need to be realistic. So when we're talking about setting goals uh, on page 1-3, there's long-term goals and there's short-term goals, obviously. I think that the most important thing is that the most effective and most efficient goal in terms of duration is a one-year goal. If you can set that one-year goal and say, this is what I want to accomplish over one year, and then back into it and say, this is what I have to do each month, each week, each day. So your one-year goal is going to be extremely important. And it's okay to dream big. It's okay to have big goals, but just make sure that they're achievable. Some of the other things that we need to talk about uh, in this text is going to be time management. I have to, I've got to tell you that time management is critical because time management helps us achieve these goals. It helps us prioritize things. It helps us get things done in a timely manner. Uh, and I've got to tell you, a lot of people don't know how to prioritize. And all prioritization has to do with is what are the most important things that we have to do? And then let's just rank them. In order to effectively use our time, we have to manage it so that we can prioritize and knock off those things that are the most important. I hope that everybody has a daily planner. Daily planners are important because when it, when it comes right down to it, even though the one-year plan or the one-year goal is what we're shooting for, at the end of the day, it comes down to what are we doing each and every day to achieve that goal. You know, it's like people tell me that that they'd like to earn $300,000 for the year. I say, that's great, but tell me what you're going to do every day to get to that point at the end of the year where you've achieved that goal. Uh, it's important to do that. Um, one of the things that we have to, to worry about when we're talking about time management are those, are those people and those things that occur that waste our time. And I've got to tell you, there's a whole list of them. Um, they're mainly people, I've got to tell you. If you think about it, there's going to be people that are going to knock on your door and they're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to absorb whatever time they can. I think it's important in this business to understand that there's two piles of, of real estate agents, 10% and 90%. The 10% do 90% of all the work and produce 90% of all the goods. That 90% is sitting out there and they're going to be your time wasters. So you need to avoid, you have to find a way to make sure that those time wasters don't intrude into your space. But let me say this, probably the most common time waster that we have, the biggest obstacle, is that we set a goal and we forget where we're going. And that time, all of a sudden, we drift over and we're doing something else. We get sidetracked. We're chasing little sparklies, if you will. So it's nice to write down your goals. It's nice to say, this is what I want to achieve today, 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 and go from day to day in achieving these goals. In the uh, text that I gave you, I gave you a, um, a business plan, a daily calendar, a weekly calendar, that kind of shows you how to go about uh, establishing the things, the things that you want to do, um, not just daily, but maybe in a weekly manner. Management skills. I guess uh, developing management skills are going to be important uh, as far as a business plan. You have to know how to manage your own time, manage your own organization. The, um, I think that once you, what we've got to do is, is develop a plan. Then what you have to do is organize the plan. You've got to say, this is, this is how I want to organize the plan that I'm going to do. And then the last thing that we have to do, we have to find a way of measuring success. You can have all the plans in the world, but if you don't have a way of measuring how well you've done, I don't think you're. I don't believe that you're going to accomplish that much. As far as uh, databases are concerned, I think that every agent, uh, at some point in, in in terms of developing a business plan, you need to start developing a database. These are both past customers or, or prospects, people that you've done business with in the past that you can reach out and contact. 
and there's a number of ways that can be done. What this measure sometimes is customer loyalty. You know, one of the big things is that if we have referrals and we have a lot of referrals, what that tells me is that you've done something right. You've done something right enough that people are willing to refer you to somebody else. Where do referrals come from? Uh, referrals just come from good business and um, developing a system of, of getting their names and information is going to be critical. Let me say that developing a business plan is going to be very important. And um, I think that before you ever get started, you just need to take the time to sit down and say, where do I want to be? That's all that I have for this particular chapter. So what I want to do now is to do a quick review with you to make sure that we understand those areas that are important. The most effective short-term goal is a one-year goal. Successful people use time management to help prioritize tasks. Biggest time waster is losing track of what your goals are. The best way to jumpstart your real estate career is to go to work for a broker that's going to provide training. And that's all we have for the first chapter. Mm -hmm.